It's been exactly six years since a father and daughter lost their lives on Lake Winnebago. While nine-year-old Savannah Kleinhans and her father Dan were out on the eastern part of the lake, their truck fell through the ice. Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays explains how that event made a significant change in Calumet County. Well, this is our dry suit that we wear. As Connie Lowy pulls dive equipment out of the trunk of her car, she can remember a time when Calumet County didn't have this equipment or a dive team. I was one of the first responders along with Tim. Um, him and I helped do CPR when we got Tiffany out of the water six years ago. Lowy is talking about Tiffany Dombrowski. She's the only survivor from the 2009 accident that took the life of her friend Savannah Kleinhans and her father Dan. Now 13, Dombrowski comes to the Quinny Quencher on the east side of Lake Winnebago every opening day of sturgeon spearing season to thank the first responders who saved her life. Yeah, I am grateful for it. Before and during the accident, Calumet County had to depend on rescue dive teams from outside the area. I don't want to see families go through what we went through. You know, um, not only did we lose a child, you know, um, Dan's family lost a son and a brother and and an uncle, and um, it's it's hard. Savannah's mom, Tina Katzi, says with the help of people in the community, the family started Savannah's Pay It Forward Foundation and the Have a Heart campaign to create and help raise money for a dive team. We thought it was really important that we that we help in, in this effort to get a dive team started. And six years after the, the accident, the foundation teams. continues to support the dive team. This is a check in the amount of $8,500 uh, to go awesome. towards the Calumet County dive team, so thank you. Over the past few years, the foundation has raised more than $75,000 for various causes. Cassie says dive equipment is expensive and the rescue team isn't funded on a state or local level. It's approximately $7,000 just for one diver to be equipped and trained. The dive team is made up of around 25 members and they say the ultimate goal is to always be prepared and get out on the lake quickly if someone needs help. In Quinney, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News. If you would like to learn more about the dive team or donate to Savannah's Pay It Forward Foundation, there is a link on our website, fox11online.com.